Ever wondered why the notion of divine masculine is central in the twin flame journey? Well, you're not alone. This concept, steeped in ancient wisdom and modern consciousness, holds profound meaning and significance for those embarking on this deeply spiritual path. The divine masculine, in its essence, is not confined to a specific gender. Instead, it represents a universal energy, a cosmic force that exists within all of us. It's the yang to the yin, the sun to the moon, the action to the contemplation. It's about strength, courage, leadership, and purposeful action, all harmoniously balanced with compassion, understanding, and respect for the divine feminine. In the context of the twin flame journey, the divine masculine plays a crucial role. It's the driving force that propels the journey forward, the compass that guides us towards our true selves and our higher purpose. Embracing and harmonizing with the divine masculine energy is an essential part of this journey, a key to unlocking deeper levels of self-awareness, spiritual growth, and ultimately, union with the twin flame. But there's so much more to this concept than meets the eye. And that's exactly what we're going to explore in this video. We'll delve into seven different perspectives on the Divine Masculine's role in the Twin Flame journey, each offering unique insights and nuances that will enrich your understanding and deepen your experience. We'll talk about self-realization, balance, relationships, healing, spiritual ascension, and life purpose, all through the lens of the Divine Masculine. Whether you're at the beginning of your twin flame journey or well along the path, these perspectives will provide valuable insights and guidance to assist you along the way. So, are you ready? Are you willing to dive deep, to question, to explore, to grow? Because that's what this journey is all about. It's about becoming the best version of ourselves, about reaching our highest potential, about achieving a state of wholeness, of unity, of love. Prepare to venture into the realms of the Divine Masculine and the profound implications it holds for those on the Twin Flame journey. Firstly, it's crucial to understand what we mean by Divine Masculine. The Divine Masculine represents a universal energy, a primal and powerful force that is as timeless as the cosmos itself. It's not confined to any gender or physical form, but rather, it's a spiritual essence that dwells within all of us. It's a source of strength, courage, and action, but also of wisdom, understanding, and compassion. This energy is often portrayed as a king, a warrior, a sage, or a lover. These archetypes are not just roles played, but they illustrate the key characteristics of the divine masculine energy. A king represents leadership and responsibility. A warrior stands for courage and protection. A sage embodies wisdom and knowledge, and a lover symbolizes passion and devotion. Understanding the Divine Masculine is about recognizing these qualities within oneself and learning to balance them with the Divine Feminine. It's about the harmonious combination of strength and sensitivity, action and understanding, courage and compassion. The Divine Masculine is an energy that inspires action, initiates change and stands up for justice. It is the spark that ignites creativity and the driving force behind manifestation. It's about taking responsibility, not just for oneself, but also for the world around us. However, it's essential to remember that the Divine Masculine is not about dominance or control. It's not about suppressing the feminine, but rather it's about honoring and respecting all energies. It's about understanding that we all contain a mix of both masculine and feminine energies, and that balance between these energies is key to our personal and spiritual growth. It's not always easy to embody the Divine Masculine. It requires a lot of self-awareness and inner work. It's about acknowledging our strengths, but also our vulnerabilities. It's about embracing all aspects of ourselves and striving for balance and wholeness. This understanding lays the foundation for the perspectives that will follow. Secondly, the Divine Masculine plays a pivotal role in self-realization. It's the inner compass that guides us through the path of personal growth. It helps us to confront our weaknesses, but not with the aim to belittle or criticize. Instead, it supports us to recognize these areas as opportunities for growth and transformation. Imagine the Divine Masculine as an inner warrior, courageously battling the inner demons, the fears, insecurities, and doubts that often hold us back. This warrior doesn't fight with anger or aggression. Instead, it uses wisdom, understanding, and compassion. 
It helps us to face these challenges, not as enemies, but as teachers. The divine masculine energy is also about taking action. It's about making the conscious choice to step out of our comfort zones and venture into the unknown. It's about taking responsibility for our own lives, our own happiness. It's about acknowledging that we are the creators of our own reality. Yet this journey of self-realization isn't about striving for perfection. It's about embracing our authentic selves with all our strengths and weaknesses. It's about recognizing that we are all works in progress, continuously learning and growing. The Divine Masculine also teaches us about resilience, about bouncing back from failures and setbacks. It's about understanding that these experiences are not meant to break us, but to make us stronger, wiser. It's about recognizing that every challenge is an opportunity for growth. And finally, the Divine Masculine helps us to embrace our own power. It helps us to recognize that we are not victims of our circumstances, but powerful beings capable of creating our own reality. It encourages us to step into our power, to be the best versions of ourselves. Through the Divine Masculine, we find a path to inner growth and self-discovery. Balance, the third perspective, is integral to the twin flame journey. It's like a dance, a delicate interplay between the divine masculine and feminine energies within each of us. This dance isn't a competition. It's not about one leading and the other following. It's about unity, about two halves of the same whole moving in harmony. In the context of twin flames, this balance is crucial. Imagine a seesaw. If one side is heavier than the other, the seesaw won't function properly. Similarly, if the divine masculine or feminine energy within us becomes dominant, our spiritual journey may become lopsided. We may find ourselves struggling, unable to progress smoothly along our path. So how do we foster this balance? It's about honoring both energies within us, the divine masculine and the divine feminine. Each energy has its own strengths, its own unique gifts to offer. The Divine Masculine is often associated with action, direction, strength, and courage. The Divine Feminine, on the other hand, embodies intuition, compassion, emotion, and nurturing. To strike a balance, we must learn to embrace both energies, to let them complement each other rather than compete. This balance isn't a one-time event. It's an ongoing process that requires conscious effort and awareness. It's about recognizing when we're leaning too heavily on one energy and making a conscious effort to incorporate more of the other. It's about learning to move fluidly between the two energies, to harness the right energy at the right time for the right purpose. And in achieving this balance, we pave the way for a harmonious twin flame journey. We enable ourselves to navigate the challenges of this journey with grace and resilience, to embrace the transformative power of the divine masculine and feminine energies within us, Balance isn't about superiority. It's about harmony and mutual empowerment. It's about recognizing that both the divine masculine and feminine have a place within us, that they are two halves of the same whole, equally vital for our spiritual growth and evolution. The fourth perspective involves the role of the divine masculine in relationships. Now, when we talk about relationships, we're not just referring to romantic ones. This encompasses all forms of human connection, friendships, family ties, professional relationships, and yes, the twin flame relationship too. The Divine Masculine isn't about exerting dominance or control, rather it's about embodying qualities like strength, reliability, and a deep sense of responsibility. It's about being a rock in the storm, a safe haven that others can depend upon. When these qualities are brought into a relationship, they pave the way for a connection that's based on mutual respect and understanding. But it's not just about being strong for others. The Divine Masculine also understands the importance of vulnerability. It's about being brave enough to open up, to share your fears, your dreams, your hopes, and your insecurities. It's about allowing others to see you, truly see you, and in doing so, fostering a deeper level of intimacy and connection. In the context of the twin flame relationship, the divine masculine plays a crucial role. It sets the foundation for a connection that goes beyond the physical, transcending into the spiritual realm. 
It's a bond that's rooted in mutual growth, where both individuals encourage and challenge each other to evolve and become the best versions of themselves. So, how can one embody the divine masculine in their relationships? It starts with a commitment to personal growth. It's about striving to be a better person, not just for oneself, but also for the people around them. It's about embracing qualities like empathy, respect, and integrity. It's about understanding that strength isn't about overpowering others, but about empowering them. In relationships, the Divine Masculine serves as a beacon of strength, respect, and mutual growth. The Divine Masculine also plays a key role in healing, our fifth perspective. When we speak of healing, we often think of it as a process of nurturing, associated predominantly with the Divine Feminine. However, the Divine Masculine has an equally important role in this journey. It's the Divine Masculine energy that provides the strength, courage, and resilience necessary for us to navigate through our emotional and spiritual wounds. Imagine the Divine Masculine as a guiding light within us, illuminating the dark corners of our soul. It shines its light on our deepest fears, our most painful memories, and our unresolved traumas. It doesn't shy away from these difficult areas, rather it confronts them head-on with the boldness and courage that are characteristic of this energy. This confrontation is not about aggression or conflict. It's about facing the truth of our experiences, acknowledging our pains, and taking responsibility for our healing process. It's about recognizing that we have the power within us to overcome our challenges. And it's the divine masculine energy that empowers us to take this responsibility. Embodying the Divine Masculine Energy means stepping into our power. It means acknowledging that we are not victims of our circumstances, but rather, we are the creators of our reality. It's about taking the reins of our life and steering it in the direction we want to go. This healing process is not about forgetting or erasing our past. It's about learning from it, growing through it, and transforming our pain into wisdom. It's about using our experiences as stepping stones towards our evolution, rather than seeing them as stumbling blocks. In the Divine Masculine's energy, we find the courage to face our fears, the resilience to overcome our challenges, and the strength to rise above our past. We find the power to heal ourselves, not by avoiding or suppressing our pain, but by facing it, understanding it, and ultimately, transforming it. Through the Divine Masculine's energy, we can find the strength to heal and grow. The sixth perspective brings us to the role of the Divine Masculine in spiritual ascension. Spiritual ascension, often seen as the ultimate goal for many spiritual seekers, is a process of personal evolution, of reaching higher levels of awareness and consciousness. And the Divine Masculine has a vital role to play in this journey. The Divine Masculine, in its purest form, represents action, direction, movement, responsibility, strength, focus, and adventure. These qualities are not limited to any gender, but are universal energies that can be harnessed and used in the path of spiritual ascension. Consider for a moment the concept of action. Spiritual ascension is not a passive process. It requires active participation, a willingness to engage with our inner world, to explore the depths of our being, and to make conscious choices that align with our highest good. This is where the energy of the Divine Masculine becomes crucial. Furthermore, the Divine Masculine provides us with a sense of direction. In the vast ocean of consciousness, it is easy to feel lost. The Divine Masculine offers a compass, guiding us towards our truth, helping us navigate through the complexities of our inner landscapes. Moreover, the Divine Masculine instills in us the courage and strength required to confront our shadows, our fears, and our illusions. It encourages us to stand firm in the face of adversity and to remain focused on our path, despite the challenges we may encounter. And let's not forget the element of adventure that the Divine Masculine brings into the equation. The journey of spiritual ascension is indeed an adventure, a journey into the unknown. It's an exploration of the infinite realms of consciousness, a quest for truth and understanding. So you see, the Divine Masculine is not just a concept, not just an energy. It's a guiding force, a companion, a mentor in our spiritual journey. It's the wind in our sails as we navigate the ocean of consciousness, the torchlight in the darkness of ignorance, 
the courage to face our deepest fears, the divine masculine thus becomes a guiding force in our spiritual journey. Finally, the seventh perspective deals with the divine masculine's role in discovering one's life purpose. The divine masculine energy is not just about strength and assertiveness. It's about direction and purpose. It's about the fiery drive that pushes us towards our goals, the unwavering determination that keeps us on our path, even when the road gets rough. As we delve into this perspective, let's reflect on how the divine masculine can illuminate our life's purpose. Imagine a compass. It always points north, giving direction to lost travelers. The divine masculine serves a similar purpose. It's our internal compass, guiding us towards our true path, our true purpose. It fuels our drive, keeps us focused, and propels us forward. But how do we tap into this divine masculine energy? How do we harness it to discover and pursue our life's purpose? It starts with self-awareness. We need to acknowledge the existence of this energy within us regardless of our gender. It's about balancing the divine feminine and masculine within ourselves and recognizing the strength and direction that comes from this balance. Once we've acknowledged this energy, we can use it to explore our passions, our interests, the things that make our hearts race with excitement. These are the pointers to our life's purpose. The divine masculine energy then gives us the courage and the determination to pursue these passions to turn dreams into reality. But remember, finding your life's purpose is not a one-time event. It's a journey, a continuous process of self-discovery and growth. The Divine Masculine is not just a guide. It's a companion on this journey. It's the energy that keeps us moving forward, the fire that burns within us, pushing us to become the best versions of ourselves. With the Divine Masculine, we find the courage and determination to follow our true path. As we wrap up, let's reflect on the seven perspectives we've explored today. We began by introducing the concept of the Divine Masculine, a powerful force that can be found within each of us, regardless of gender. It's a source of strength, integrity, and action, and it's vital in our spiritual journey towards self-realization. Next, we delved into the significance of the Divine Masculine in the context of self-realization. This energy is a beacon that guides us towards our inner truth, fostering self-awareness and authenticity. We then explored the important role of balance. The Divine Masculine isn't about dominance, but rather about harmonizing with the Divine Feminine. This balance fosters wholeness and unity, reflecting the core essence of the Twin Flame journey. The fourth perspective focused on relationships. The Divine Masculine, when fully embodied, allows for healthier, more balanced relationships, helping us to honor and respect our partners, and fostering deeper connections. In our fifth perspective, we shed light on the healing aspect of the Divine Masculine. By embracing this energy, we can heal from past traumas, reclaim our power, and step into a space of inner peace and resilience. The sixth perspective delved into the role of the Divine Masculine in spiritual ascension. This energy acts as a catalyst, propelling us towards higher levels of consciousness and spiritual growth. Finally, we examined how the Divine Masculine relates to our life purpose. It's a driving force that motivates us to pursue our passions, live authentically, and fulfill our soul's mission. Each of these perspectives underscores the importance of understanding and embodying the Divine Masculine in our spiritual and everyday lives. This energy is not a mere concept, but a living, dynamic force that can profoundly transform us and our relationships. Remember, the journey of Divine Masculine is not a destination, but a continuous process of growth and self-discovery.